What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids and today in this video we're going to be checking out 10 free iOS 11 tweaks for May 2018. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Floaty Dock. This tweak brings the iPad dock along with some iPad multitasking features to the iPhone. So as you can see here we do have the iPad dock and one of the biggest features of the iPad dock is the ability to place many applications within it and as you can see right here we can place more applications than the standard four that are normally allowed on iPhones. You can customize in the settings of this tweak how many apps you want to be allowed to be placed into the dock. Also notice over there on the right side of the dock we have our recent application so that's yet another iPad feature. And another great feature that iPads have in iOS 11 is the ability to access the dock within any application. And you could do that with this tweak. You just drag up from either the left or the right side of the bottom of the screen to access the dock. The middle is reserved for the control center, as you can see. But basically, you could use the dock to switch between all the applications within it. So it's a very fast way to switch applications. Now, you could also use slide over and split view with this tweak. So if you go ahead and tap and hold on an application, you could drag it up and pop it over into the slide over mode just like this. As you can see, you have this application overlaid right on top of the current app that you're in. You could drag it to the side like that and you know drag it back whenever you want to now you could also use split view with this now split view does work better in landscape mode so i'm just going to go ahead and go into landscape mode and i'll show you here that it does work with split view so we'll go ahead and bring over messages again and again as you can see here it is possible to have full split screen multitasking on your iphone using this tweak so again it turns your iphone into a very powerful device here and if we head over to the settings for floaty dock as you can see here there's various options to configure as i said earlier you could customize how many apps you want to be allowed in the dock by default it's six but you could change that here and something i do want to mention is if you want to use split view with this make sure you enable slide over and split view because that isn't enabled by default and then, of course, respring your device to apply any changes that you made to the settings. Now, I do quickly want to mention that I've experienced some lag when unlocking my device to the home screen when using this tweak. So if I'm on the home screen here, I lock my device and then I unlock it. You see here, there's going to be a little bit of lag there, but it's not too big of a deal. But hopefully it's something that's fixed in the future. CC support gives you complete control over your control center in iOS 11. So normally in iOS 11, Apple only allows you to customize the bottom toggles down here. You cannot, you know, rearrange or remove anything in the top portion here. However, this tweak will allow you to do that. It'll allow you to rearrange and remove anything within the control center. So if we hop over to settings and go into control center, then customize controls, you're going to see here this tweak adds all the things that Apple does not include. Connectivity, media controls, orientation lock, do not disturb, brightness, volume, and screen mirror. For instance, let's say I wanted to move down the connectivity module. I could do that now. I could just rearrange it like this. And now, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and rearrange just like that. So it's very nice to have a bunch of control over the control center. So let's say I wanted to remove the media controls. I could do that now. I could click remove. And now it's not going to show up anymore. And of course, if you wanted to re enable something, you just scroll down, find it, click plus. Then it will go ahead and reappear within the control center like that. CC Alarm ETA allows you to determine how much time is remaining until your next alarm right from the control center. So it's going to go ahead and place this countdown right on the alarm clock shortcut. So as you can see right there, it says one hour and 27 minutes, and it has a live countdown. And if you don't already have the alarm shortcut in order to make this tweak work, you're going to need to go and go ahead and add that. So just jump over to settings, control center, customize controls, and just make sure you have the alarm shortcut added. And if I go ahead and jump into my clock app, you'll see my next alarm is for 5 p.m. and it's currently 3.32, so it is indeed 1 hour and 27 minutes away, so very convenient tweak. Next up, we have AV Lock. This tweak will allow you to enable and disable portrait orientation lock right from the video playing interface. So, for instance, let's say you were trying to watch a video in landscape mode, but your phone was locked in portrait mode. With this tweak, you could quickly and easily just disable the portrait lock so you could watch the video in landscape mode without having to open up the control center to disable it. And of course, if you ever wanted to re-enable it, you just tap that button, and then it goes back, and then you're back to your original setting just like that. Easy Swipe allows you to access the control center, the cover sheet, and spotlight all by swiping down in different areas of the home screen. So normally in iOS, of course, if you swipe anywhere, you'll just get to spotlight. But with this tweak, if I go ahead and swipe down on my right side of the home screen, I'm going to get the control center. If I swipe down on the left side, I'm going to get the cover sheet just like that. And again, the middle is for a spotlight. So this is very convenient if you, you know, don't want to have to reach all the way up to the top of the screen to pull down the cover sheet. You could just do it from this side of the home screen and it appears just like that. 
Same thing with the control center. If you don't have to swipe all the way up with this tweak, you could just swipe down anywhere and it's going to come up just like that. So uh, definitely a convenient tweak. Now in these settings for the tweak, you could customize which areas will do different things. So you could completely swap the functions of these three things, the spotlight, cover sheet, and control center to any different gesture, any of the three. So if you jump over to easy swipe, you could change all of those in here. NC squared provides your notifications with a square look as you can see right here. So it's rather than the kind of round and bubbly look that we're used to. And this takes effect for banners as you just saw and for the lock screen and the notification center area just like this. So uh, there's also a dark theme that you could actually enable for this as well. If we jump over to settings, you can go into NC squared and enable the dark theme and respring. And that's going to look something like this as you can see right there. So definitely a nice, very crisp, dark theme just like that. Next up, we have Photos Timeline. Now, this tweak provides your Photos application with a Snapchat-esque scroll bar when you're inside any album. For example, the camera roll here. So when I go ahead and scroll, as you can see right there, it's going to tell me when each group of photos is taken. As you can see right there, May 2018, in that very Snapchat-esque pop-up sty style appearance from the side. No More App Bar will hide the iMessage bar that appears at the bottom of a conversation whenever you open up a conversation right within the Messages app. So you can see right there, there's no bar at the bottom. No No Recent Notif will hide the text in the cover sheet saying no older notifications. So this just goes for a cleaner look in the cover sheet. And our final tweak today is called Now Playing Disable. This tweak will disable the Now Playing interface from showing up in the cover sheet slash lock screen area. So as you can see here in the control center, I am playing something from the podcast application right now. However, if I go to the cover sheet area, as you can see, it's just not going to show up here. You're not going to get the now playing interface. So, you know, I could definitely see it's a little bit repetitive having the controls in the control center and the cover sheet. So if you just want things to be a little bit simpler, you can install those tweak. And this basically just restricts the audio controls to the control center or, of course, the application that the audio is coming from. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.